What's up, beautiful people? Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like my ears are lopsided. <laughs> um, today, we are going to do a little look and review that will kind of coincide and link up with today's Swatch Sundays feature on my Instagram. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm at Miss Jenna Lee. Definitely, definitely give me a follow there because every Sunday I do a feature where I swatch lipsticks, eyeshadows, pretty much whatever. Sometimes it's a brand new product and sometimes it's just an old product that I've kind of fallen in love with all over again. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Athena palette by Bad Habit Beauty. So, if you're down to check out this brand new palette and uh, make a look with me, hang out. Today we are reviewing this beautiful palette made by Bad Habit Beauty. I first discovered this brand when I was shopping on the Hush app and uh, hashtag not spawns, but the Hush app is a really cool makeup app because they have different sales going on at any, any given time and they offer just an incredibly wide variety of products and what I really like is that while some apps have kind of strictly lower cost items and then some are more higher end you can get anything across the board from the Hush app. They carry everything from like Clean Color, Santee to Ocalon, Bad Habit, you can get the, you can get the Balm you can get Urban Decay, Gerard Cosmetics. It's really a cool, inclusive app to give you a real feel for all kinds of different makeup brands. They also have an extremely detailed skincare section with different masks, under eye treatments, peel off treatments, lip scrubs, lip masks. I mean, you name it, you can find it on this site. Once again, hashtag not spons. But yeah, the thing that caught my eye about this palette was just first of all how gorgeous it is and then when you open it up, you can see it's clearly meant to be a dupe, maybe not shade for shade, but it's definitely a very nice potential dupe for some of those Huda Beauty palettes that are very wildly popular right now. Now we all know that the Huda Beauty palettes retail for about 65 bucks and that's before tax, before shipping. This beauty here retails for 10 bucks. That's it. 10 bucks. So let's play around in this bad boy and see what happens. I've already got my eyelids primed with my usual e.l.f. Shadow Lock Lid Primer. I'm going to go in with my favorite little brush, my blending brush. That is my Catwoman Special. If you've watched previous videos, you know. This is one of my favorite brushes. It came in a five brush set that I got at Walgreens a couple of years ago for like 10 bucks. But yeah, it's amazing. So. We are going to go in, first and foremost, with the shade Purity. So I'm just going to tap into that. And I'm just going to throw that on my eyelids. It blends down very nicely. The texture of the shadows is very buttery. It's very soft. Like, easy peasy. Now, I will say, as is the issue with a lot of these less expensive palettes, 
there is it is powdery but again like I've said before these are pressed powders you're gonna get powder with it so I, I don't I don't fight that as much as maybe some other people may. Powdery pigment does not bother me. It, it doesn't upset me as much as it does some other reviewers, artists, enthusiasts, etc., etc., etc. So, now that we have kind of a nice nude base to blend into laid down, I am going to take my SL Miss Glam blending brush and I don't know let's try the shade Heroic that's this baby right here on the end tap into that and again you can see it is powdery but for ten bucks I don't care. Let's go. Oh yes, there's definitely some pigment there. Yeah, very pigmented. A little tricky to blend. It does require some finessing. It does require some finessing, that's for sure. but it's pretty. I'm going to go back in with my uh, one of my favorite blending brushes, the Lab Squared Just Blending In brush. Again, if you watch my videos, you'll learn my brushes. I have, I have my go-tos. So I'm just going to kind of follow that up just to soften this a little bit, blend out any harshness, and that did the trick right away. That totally totally knocked out any like harsh uneven spots cool now we have a lot of options in this palette because it is a really great mixture of matte shades and then you've got these gorgeous shimmer shades and then you've got this incredible incredible pressed glitter I mean it's beautiful beautiful pressed glitter so, let's go one shade a little deeper. We're going to dip into power here and kind of run that into the crease and outer V. Once again, the Ibby, 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 Y. One of y'all, if y'all know how to pronounce that, one of y'all tell me because I really, I don't know if it's Ibby Beauty, Ibby Beauty, Ibby Y, Ibby, I. Help me. All right. I'm just going to pack this into my outer corner here. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. A nice kind of burnt sienna orange color. I don't know about you guys. I know I said it in an earlier video how I'm uh, really, really sick of just bland neutral palettes. I have really been not just into color lately, but really, really into reds and oranges. Rich auburn shades, really pretty vivid burgundies and reds. So, if you have a recommendation for like an orange or a red shadow that you think I would like, let me know in the comments. Tweet me. Again, at Miss Jennelly. I am going to take my AOA Studio E124 pencil brush that I love to pieces and I'm actually going to take some more of the shade Power, the one that I was just putting in. I'm going to dab that and I'm going to smoke out my under eye with it just a little bit. Again, powdery, but again, I don't care. So yeah, these are absolutely, undeniably pigmented. Absolutely gorgeous. A 
Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I'm going to take, let's see, what brush would be good for this? I want a brush that will just pack on some pigment. So I think I'm going to go with this Glamour Dolls little uh, crease moment. Now, it is meant to be a crease brush, but the bristles are thick enough that they're very good at packing on color in very specific places. So I am going to go in with what would be a pretty sparkly color. Let's do Gleam right here in the middle on the end. I'm going to dab that right here on my lid and kind of blend that up. Now this is far less powdery. It's a little flakier, but again, it's a duochrome pigment, so it's going to have that slightly flakier texture. Gorgeous. And this is without even using any setting spray or fix plus. And oh, I need a stronger camera for y'all. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Yep, that's gorgeous. I might go in just for a little extra oomph and pat some more down because I just really want that duochrome to pop, especially in the inner corner. I'm going to bring that all the way out to my inner corner and tuck that into what I put into my outer V. Now, for fallout, as always, I use this Luxie Beauty blush brush. Huge fan of Luxie Beauty brushes. Luxie, holler at me. I'd love to work with y'all. <laughs> but not a lot of fallout, but I like to try to stay on top of it just in case. I'd rather prevent than have to go back and fix. Now I'm going to take just a little bit more of that deep orange power shade and blend out my under eye and push some back up into the crease just to really counteract that shimmery duochrome. Now, the final thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in with just a touch of the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Lid Primer that y'all know I love so well. And I'm just going to put a little dab, dab, dab on my pointer finger here. There we go to hold it onto my ring finger and I'm just going to pat it in the very center of my lid because I'm going to go right behind it with the pressed glitter in the shade Daring and I'm just going to pop that right into the center to kind of give it a duochrome glittery little moment. Rawr. <laughs> and so now we've got, I've got to get better cameras, y'all. So yeah, we've got four or five shades here blended in and I'm going to go back again with a little more of that deep orange power that I love so much just because I really want that transition to, to show. I want that transition particularly against the duochrome that I have here and here opposite the glitter that I have packed into here. Now, I'm going to knock out some simple liner and some mascara, and I'm going to do my other eye, and I will be right back with my final thoughts, okay? Sit tight.